Poverty and unemployment, non-marital births, dropouts, high rates of abuse and neglect. These are issues that plague every community, but none more so than in Norfolk. I'm here to tell us why and what's being done to address these, these issues are Pam Wong, who is Family Services Supervisor with Norfolk Human Services, and Stacey O'Toole, who is Programs Manager for the Norfolk Community Services Board. Both are part of a network that they are spearheading called the Norfolk Prevention Network. There has been some mention of this in the past, but it is starting to come together. You've had your first meeting, and uh, so let's start at the beginning and say, what is this network? Uh, we're excited about the Norfolk Prevention Network. We're working to create a coordinated effort to make prevention a priority in Norfolk. Okay, and prevention of these things that were just mentioned are some of them. Also, just um, the everyday issues that may plague families that can grow into crises if they're not addressed early on. Is that correct? Yes. It, it, it's true. A lot of families are struggling with their children. Um, they may have issues related to abuse or neglect or mental health issues or substance abuse or sometimes just the stress and every day of um, raising a family and trying to balance everything. Mm -hmm. So we find a lot of families need support and need assistance and may not know where to turn to get it. And there may or may not be programs available to meet their needs. Okay. Unemployment was m mentioned as one of those issues and that really can be key um, to sort of a ripple effect uh, for family uh, problems because if you don't have money then you can't afford a place to live or you can't pay your bills or you can't feed your family um, and, and this can grow into something much larger. Substance abuse may be one of the uh, responses uh, to, to dealing with this or how people may, may, may turn to that. Um, mental health issues too can be developed mm -hmm. from substance abuse but it can also really? be an entity of itself. Um, so the CSB um, is really a very large partner in this kind of an effort to, to streamline the, um, the location of where people can go and, and get information and resources and services. Yes, that's why uh, Pam and I decided that we should join efforts between Human Services and the Community Services Board because as we looked at what each agency was looking at addressing, whether that was positive healthy families, fatherhood development on the human services side, or substance abuse, addictions, mental health issues, those all have similar risk factors and protective factors. So we felt that if we could combine forces mm -hmm. um, and, and develop a larger citywide coalition effort, we might be able to be solving multiple issues with addressing some of the consistent risk factors. Mm -hmm. I guess that in the in the community you have well your two agencies, but there are so many other types of organizations and companies that um, figure in mm -hmm. to treating a family, whether it be a hospital or a health mm -hmm. department or uh, probably things I haven't even dreamed of. But you have other people who have come to the table for the first mm -hmm. time. It truly is a collaborative effort between mm -hmm. the city, the private sector, nonprofit, the schools being on board, okay. everyone coming together uh, around the same table, not to reinvent the wheel, but maybe even to connect with other coalitions and networks um, that are working to improve outcomes for children and families in Norfolk. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense for folks to get together, to be on the same page, to be looking into programs that are evidence-based that we know work and that we know are going to make a difference. And if you have the evidence and you have the data, that also is, speaks well for groups that are attempting to, um, to be awarded grants um, and Absolutely. monies for programs that might be um, a little more forward thinking mm -hmm. um, and, and perhaps can help corral some of the same people so that you can actually treat them um, more effectively. Uh, the, the idea of having people in um, accessible through like a meeting or a group is great. Mm -hmm. I know that for a, a consumer or a client or a citizen, the resources that are out there may be out there, but they don't know where to begin. So sometimes it does begin then, I guess, with the, the groups that know each other. Absolutely. Yeah. So that we can share resources, so that we know what's available out there, so that we can come together to come with some actual strategic interventions that we think may actually help to improve the conditions for the citizens in the city. Mm -hmm. One of the things, and I don't want to get off the subject too much, but it does include some of the issues that we face here, and then Stacy and I were talking about it earlier, and that was um, the suicide rate. Mm -hmm. Um, for the, the Commonwealth, um, and I was not aware of just where that stood um, in terms of 
its incidence, but it's pretty high. It is pretty high. It's we're trending at around 12% uh, suicide rate across the Commonwealth, and Norfolk is just a little bit above the statewide average. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a problem. It's been trending upward every year for the last 12 years. So the state has really looked at some specific targeted efforts to try to help reduce the incidence of suicide through awareness and through some regional interventions. So the Community Services Board is working regionally um, with our other CSB partners to try to come up with some training efforts, media campaigns, um, and a suicide task force to try to address this incident that um, nobody wants to see trending upward. Right. And has been very difficult to talk about, but is being talked about more and more mm -hmm. frequently now. Absolutely. And openly. Oh, and this, these, what she's talking about is our civilian population. This is not our military population figured into that data. So um, we are, you know, dealing with a, a huge problem. Being that it's a regional um, effort on the part of the CSB, that gets shared with a network mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. Norfolk's and perhaps another locality so that more people are aware of what's going on and can actually access and utilize those kind of resources um, that might make a difference. And early that. prevention is key. It's important whether mm -hmm. you're trying to rebu reduce abuse and neglect or juvenile delinquency or suicide, mental health issues, trying to work with children and families sooner and younger, either through school programs or neighborhood uh, collaboratives, mm -hmm. to try to get the message out there where folks know where the resources mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. and where to get help. Mm -hmm. And there are resources currently available, Norfolk Family Services Center at Norfolk Human Services. Um, you can call 664-7790 or go on to the website, uh, norfolk.gov slash human services for um, information about some of the programs and trainings that are available to, to families um, who may feel that they need some help. So you, we don't have to come to you, you can come mm -hmm. to us. We do. Uh -huh. The Community Services Board can be reached at 823-1600, that's their main number. And you see their website up there too at norfolk.gov slash NCSB. Did I get that right? Yes. I didn't flip-flop it. <laughs> um, and um, both organizations, of course, are, are willing to, um, to listen, take your calls, and, and do resource and referral, um, mm -hmm. which is very important. But just know that more of this is going to happen in the community. We have more people that will be aware of what each other is doing um, in their various organizations. And um, that's the goal. It's a challenge because there's so much and we all are so busy. But, um, you know, well, kudos to both of you for being a part of, of spearheading. Thank you. An Thank ambitious you. effort, but one that really needs to be addressed. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Well, still to come on the forum, volunteer opportunities for seniors to help other seniors. We'll be back in a moment.